So first of all, there are not many companies existing today or existed in the past that reach 100 years of history. So for any company, this is a major milestone. And I think if you look back over that 100 years and all the efforts that all the people of crew and the successive management teams through that period, what they've achieved is, is truly fantastic. We've got a globally renowned brand. We're the strongest brand in the luxury segment. We sell more cars than any other company in the world. And we're set up for the next century with the strongest product portfolio that we've ever had. So we kicked off the idea of EXP 100 GT around 15 months ago. Uh, the basic idea was to show a vision for the future, not just to show a beautiful car, because we do that every day. What we wanted to do is show the future of Grand Touring and the future of Bentley. So this car is both drivable and autonomous. It's fully electric, but it could also be adapted to be fuel cell in the future, the architecture of the vehicle. And it sends a clear message that we don't believe that the future of luxury travel is about sitting in soulless white boxes that are autonomous, driven in a grid system in an Orwellian world. We see the world as colourful, as inspirational and as exciting as it is today, and even more so because of digital technology allowing new services and experience to be delivered to the car, but also emissions-free performance for the vehicle and for the whole value chain. The importance of luxury being sustainable is for us paramount. Why? Well, as society develops and values change, people change their approaches and their perceptions of things which we take for granted. So if we look at luxury today and luxury in the future, our quick, big question was, can we still deliver wood, leather, shiny materials and high performance, big grand tours in a future zero emissions ethically sound world. This car proves we can. It's zero emissions from uh, the product itself, it's zero emissions from the whole value chain to get there, and all of the materials, the provenance of them, the sustainability of them, has been of paramount importance to show we can create something beautiful, inspiration, and totally sustainable, very different to the past, but with the same core values. And it will attract new customers as well as being relevant to the existing ones. Well, the last hundred years have been pretty exciting, but if I look forward, it's even more exciting. And why is that the case? We'll still be able to build grand tours, big proportion cars with high performance, world-class craftsmanship, world-class levels of refinement, and a brand appeal that makes people want to buy our products. But now we have digital to play with. Now we have autonomous to play with. And now we have zero emissions to think about too. And rather than being a burden to us as a brand, we see these actually as liberating. Because if we can be emissions free, not just in the product, but in all of our operations, it takes away one of the big question marks about consumption of big cars. And we believe we can do this. For example, by October this year, our operations will already be fully uh, green, either through replacement of non-green energies with green energies or buying certified green energies for the remainder that we can't generate ourselves. So our solar farm will generate average 30% of our power requirements, 40 at peak, and next year we also buy a 3 megawatt battery just to store the energy that we get from the solar panels that we don't need on that particular day so that we can use it when it's cloudy. We are today in crew in the CW1 house, our presentation area of Bentley Motors, and we are celebrating today our 100th birthday and revealing our uh, concept car, centenary concept car, the Bentley EXP100 GT. The Bentley EXP100 GT is showing the future of Bentley in many respects. First of all, for me as design director, of course, we show the design language, the design DNA for the next 20 years. And this is a kind of milestone for us uh, to define where we are going from the aesthetic point of view. On top, we have been working together with our engineers very intensively, looking at the innovation roadmaps we are going to follow for the next 20 years. So a lot of things you see in the car and around the car is showing technology of the future, let's say. And I personally always believe you only can do a big, big step in design when you also do a big step in technique and engineering. 
we did a redefinition and a completely new statement of these little elements to make this futuristic Bentley a true Bentley in the exterior. In the interior, we have the so-called double wing theme in the dashboard, which is not a, a real dashboard anymore. It's more a piece of furniture, let's say. And especially in the interior, we have the um, combination of drive and be driven. So we have the situation where the driver can literally drive the car on its own, like in the days he used to drive his Bentley the last hundred years. But also looking into the future, where you have an autonomous mode, so you are reclining in your uh, lounge in the interior, and the car is driving on its own. The idea of Grand Touring is an idea that Bentley was following for the last hundred years. So it is more than only getting transported from one place to the other, but it is really an almost romantic idea of having the freedom to sit in your car and having a great experience in the end of the day. That's what we are talking about. We have a really big step in technical innovation with the electrification of the powertrain. The package layouts look different. We are a bit more flexible. We still have, for example, the demand of air getting into the car for cooling the batteries. So a few functions are not so different to combustion engine layouts. But altogether, the layout altogether of the, of the package itself is really uh, different and more flexible and gives us more freedom for design. And it almost gives us so much freedom that we have to come back to our roots and to our heritage, our design language we used for the last hundred years, to give a certain link to our brand. Because in the end of the day, our customer want to buy a Bentley. They want to see a Bentley, they want to drive in a Bentley. And with all this freedom we have in the design, we can play very modern. This is very important for us to modernize our design language, but it still has to be a Bentley forever. Well, to be a hundred years in, in the market, first of all, and surviving with all the changes in technology and design acceptance, I think it's, it, it was a big challenge for the company uh, and for the people working in this company during the last hundred years. Also for the designer, and it is always the question when you do design, especially car design, you have to reinvent yourself. You have to uh, define new products. It's not only styling and doing a few nice lines and a few nice colors and nice materials. It is really thinking strategically about new concepts. What are the customers asking for? How is the society changing? What are the demands in the society? And this all is somehow put together in a final design language we are pushing forward for the next hundred years. And this is really our target. We want to reinvent Bentley on behalf of the product portfolio, new products, attractive products, attractive Bentleys in a very, very attractive design language.